I'm Patricia Durgan, founder of ProfitFromYourMessage.com. Today I'm at the Greater Philadelphia Christian Writers Conference in Pennsylvania, and one of the faculty members at this particular conference is Larry Carpenter. Thank you for taking the time to My let pleasure. me talk to you. Mm -hmm. And what's the name of your company? Well, our parent company is Christian Book Services, and through Christian Book Services we do consulting on a variety of topics. We help authors with their marketing. We help them if they're trying to get a traditional uh, publishing uh, contract. We help them find a literary agent. So we consult with them on various different issues, but probably the most popular thing that we do, 90% of what we do, would be independent publishing. Independent. Independent publishing. And that's very different from the traditional publishing model or the self-publishing. Those are have been the two alternatives until we sprang on the scene about four years ago. And now we offer an alternative that's really sort of right in the middle mm -hmm. called independent publishing. We do that under two imprints. The term imprint basically means what's imprinted on the back of the book. So that would be the publisher's logo, like Thomas Nelson or Zondervan. Uh, the books that are really overtly Christian on books like uh, devotionals and prayer and this and that would come under our Carpenter Sun Publishing logo. And then books that are from Christians but on more general topics like health, nutrition, fitness, uh -huh. finance, management, those would come out under our Clovercroft Publishing imprint. And you've been in business since 2000... 2010. 10. Uh, I've been in the, the publishing business, the Christian publishing business, for 27 years with Thomas Nelson, with, with Standard Publishing, uh, but also I was president of Spring Arbor, which is the largest uh, Christian distributor mm -hmm. uh, in, the, in the country. Uh, and so I stepped down in 2010 to really fill a need that I saw. Uh, one of the frustrating things about working for a traditional publisher is seeing so many authors with really great books that just never could get picked up. Mm -hmm. Your odds of getting a book picked up by a traditional publisher are probably one out of a thousand. Uh, the deck is definitely stacked against you. And so I saw so many great books that were, uh, were not given a publishing contract. Primarily, number one reason would be the lack of a platform mm -hmm. by the author. And what we mean by platform is a publisher is looking for an author who can go out and through their own, maybe they're pastor of a mega church or they have a television program or radio program or whatever, but they have some sort of connection, some sort of group of followers that are going to go buy their books. Mm -hmm. And so a publisher is looking for somebody that the moment they roll out that book, the author is personally going to sell several thousand books. Uh -huh. um, and it helps them get to a break-even point. And if they don't do that, uh, if it's somebody who's an insurance agent by day or a housewife or whatever, it's very, very difficult for them to get a traditional contract. So independent publishing, because they're paying uh, to produce and print their books, they are able to control that process. And, and who is that? They're paying. Who is? They that, would be the author. That's the author. So the author pays. The author would pay. Now, people say, oh, well, that's self-publishing. No. Self-publishing would be the companies that you find on the Internet where you go in and you just write them a check, you send them their grocery list, and they're going to turn it into a book. Mm. So there are a lot of vestiges of vanity publishing. Uh -huh. uh, somebody just wanting to have a book to put up on the shelf and say, hey, look at me, I'm a published author. Yes. That's not what we do. Um, with with the self-publishing, one of the flaws in the model that I saw was that there is no sales force. There's nobody that goes out and actually presents your book to family Christian stores or Lifeway or Mardell or even to the secular stores, Barnes & Noble, Amazon. And so basically, you've got a box of books sitting in your garage mm -hmm. and you can pat yourself on the back and say, hey, I'm a published mm -hmm. author. But you're not a true real literary force. Mm -hmm. In order to be a literary force, you have to have somebody that's going out and selling your books to the uh, to the bookstores, mm -hmm. get them into the bookstores where people can actually buy them. Uh, <laughs> Preferably. <laughs> yeah, and that's the difference between in, uh, independent publishing. Independent publishing, we really mirror the traditional publisher model, the quality of the books, the quality of the cover designs, the way they're edited, all are done like a traditional publisher. We have the same sales infrastructure that they do. We have a distributor who's distributing the books. So it places the author in the position of success, but because they write the check to actually produce it instead of the, the publisher, they have control over the process. If a publisher spends five, ten, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 to produce, design, edit, print your book, they're going to want to have control over that. Yes. Because yes. they're want to go, going to want to be able to maximize their investment. So they're going to determine what the title is. They're going to determine how the book's edited. They're going to determine what the cover looks like. And authors are reluctant to give away that much control yes. over their baby. Yes. And with independent, they make a, a modest investment, somewhere between two and $5,000. Uh, but that buys them the control over the process. Mm -hmm. So they're calling the shots. And, and from what I understand you're saying, you offer... 
a package. Is that the only choice, or may they pick and choose no, from the offerings? Yeah, the self-publishing, the, one of their hallmarks is is that they offer a package, and you buy a package and it includes this service. Uh, we feel like w what we offer is not a package, but a process. And so what they have is really an a la carte menu of services. Okay. If they need a content editor, we find a content editor. Okay. They need a copy edit, we find that. But if they don't, they don't. Cover design, we'll do the cover design for them, but many of my authors come to me and they already have somebody who can design their cover. I see. Great. They just uh -huh. saved themselves $700. Uh -huh. you know, so we go through the menu, we start with a consulting call where we determine what type of services do they need mm -hmm. to create the book. And certain things they're going to do, certain things we're going to do, and the price is then dependent on what sort of services they need for us to perform for it's, them. It sounds like you really partner with the author. Yeah, we really do. It's much more of a partnership. You know, another negative of the self-publishing is the person on the other end of the phone is probably 23 years old, and they're hired for their telemarketing skills. Uh -huh. Frankly, uh -huh. their their job is to get you in and write them a large check to produce your book. Uh, and I don't mean to demean that. For for many folks, that works just great. Uh -huh. You're pastor of a mega church and you just need books to be able to sell in your flock, that model works great. Mm -hmm. But for somebody who needs advice, they need somebody with extensive experience in the publishing industry to talk to them about how do I market my book, how do I get an author signing at, at Family Christian Store, how do I get into the retailer catalog. So if they really, you know, they, they need guidance like that, what we offer then is that industry expertise that we're able to incorporate into the model. Uh, it sounds fascinating and, and much needed. Mm -hmm. um, many years ago, well, it's really not been that long ago, if you published your own book, right. it was an ego trip. It was. And it, whether it was truly that or not, it was perceived to be an ego yes. trip. Self-publishing has a stigma, yes. and booksellers are reluctant to um, to put a self-published book in their store, even if it comes from one of the name brand self-publishing companies. They still know it's a self-published yes. book, and they make some assumptions like, well, it must not have been good enough for a traditional yes. publisher, or if this person did it themselves, it's probably not well written, it's probably not, not well edited, not well vetted, not well researched. And so what we do is we position our clients' products to be closer uh, to a traditionally published book mm -hmm. so that it's been carefully written, it's been carefully edited, it's uh -huh. been carefully researched, uh, it will be cleverly and carefully marketed, uh -huh. and it will be generally available. Again, with the self-published books, because they don't have a sales force and tend to not have a warehouse, it's difficult for the retailers, the bookstores, even if they do want to carry that book, it's tough to order it Yes, because the book's not available from one of the yes. wholesale distributors. Mm -hmm. All of our books are distributed uh, in the Christian side by Send the Light Distribution but are generally available from Ingram and Anchor and Baker and Taylor and the other wholesale distributors. So they're able to tack my client's book right onto that order they were mm. placing with Ingram that night. Fascinating, fascinating. Mm. And now at the conference, what are you teaching at this particular conference? Uh, what I would teach basically would be what is independent publishing, what it's all about, because there's still not a lot of recognition. We've only been doing this four years. Mm -hmm. So there's still a lot of booksellers that scratch their head and go, well, what exactly is independent publishing? How does it work? How much does it cost? How long does it take? So. Uh, I give a seminar uh, that, that Marlene uh, uh, has me signed up for every time <laughs> called Alternatives to Traditional Publishing. And that's where we go in and we explain the full range of alternatives. So we talk about self-publishing also, uh -huh. but we spend the bulk of our time introducing to them the independent publishing model, letting them know. And then we do the one-on-one -on -one sessions. We do some critiques and tell people if we think their manuscript is oh, right for oh, independent okay. publishing or if they ought to go another route. Uh, but we also just sit down one-on-one -on -one, uh, with the authors and take them through the process and get them signed up uh, so that we are going to review their manuscript and take them through what the program's all about and see if it's the right way for them to go to market mm -hmm. with their book. Mm. Just consultation. This is the this is one of the true benefit of attending a conference versus just blindly emailing or mailing a hard copy of your manuscript somewhere hoping that someone's going to see it. You come here, you meet the person, yeah. you're sitting across the chair, you see each other face to face, you have an interaction, you start to develop a relationship, and you get ad for information that you're not going to get any other way. Exactly. You know, so you'd, you you think well, somebody could just go go and Google independent publishing, mm -hmm. but if they don't know what independent publishing is, they're not going to think to look at that as an alternative. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's our goal is to let them know that there is another alternative out there that may be a better way to take their book to market. And what is uh, what's your website if people want to know more about your business? Yeah, they can either go to ChristianBookServices.com would be our main website, but probably better if they go directly to uh, carpentersonpublishing.com. 
and there they can find out more specifically about that the independent publishing process and also they can see samples of the books that we've done see oh. what type of covers we do check out more information about who does our sales how does the distribution uh -huh. work so Carpenter's Son so it's got two S's two, together okay, that throws okay. people for a loop carpentersonpublishing.com okay there will be a link to the resources that Larry's mentioned below this video um, this is this is the quality of people. These are professional people who are highly accomplished. They run their own businesses, and in their generosity, they come to writers' conferences, specifically for Marlene Bagnall, Christian writers' conferences, and uh, they share their expertise and make the uh, a very intimidating process not quite so intimidating. Mm -hmm. So consider coming to this conference next year. Thank you very much for the time. I appreciate it so much. My pleasure. Anything you'd like to add before we? No, no. Thanks for what you do. Oh, yeah. Get <laughs> the word out. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.